This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, Special Agent Wolf Mudler, and his partner, Special Agent Dina Skelly. August 19th, 10.42 a.m. Mudler and Skelly were called into the office of Deputy Director Spanner and were given an assignment. Investigate a forest fire deep in the Cascade Mountains. Objective, uncover the identity of a man found unconscious at the scene, dangling from a charred tree outfitted in full scuba gear. And there was no body of water for miles around. Hmm. Since the case defied explanation, it fell into the category of the Y Files. Mudler and Skelly set off for the mountains, once again at odds from the outset. Mudler was ready to accept any weird supernatural explanation, while his partner Skelly was pragmatic and assumed there would be a sound scientific solution. When the man in scuba gear regained consciousness, he was interrogated by the agents. He seemed to be suffering from amnesia. The local sheriff asserted his authority and arrested the man, charged him with arson since he was found at the scene of what had been a large forest fire. Ollie, the sheriff's ten-year-old son, said he might know where the mystery man came from, but the sheriff was too busy to listen. He was working with the FBI, an honor not available to many law enforcement officers. So the sheriff, even though his son was with him, tried to ignore the boy, kind of pretend he wasn't there so as not to distract the investigators, which in this case included him, from solving the mystery. Mudler and Skelly began their forensic investigation of the scene, in the dark, working with flashlights, and as always, there was fog. They could have gone in daylight, but Mudler and Skelly liked to add a touch of mystery to every, um, mystery. And flashlight beams spiking through the night had become their trademark. The sheriff tagged along, not just to be in the proximity of big-time agents, he really hoped he could help. And Ollie, no matter what excuse his dad could make to have him stay at home, tagged along as well, just for the fun of it. The agents found the area to be damp and soggy and scattered with fragments of Pacific salmon. Did the man expect to barbecue the salmon? Did he get all done up in his scuba gear for the occasion? Was he expecting a heavy rain? Ollie stood nearby and as the agents voiced their theories shook his head. Of course, his dad reminded everyone he was just a kid, so no one paid any attention. It was at this point that Muddler sought an answer to a more immediate question. How does a guy keep from starving around here? The sheriff suggested Ollie take Muddler into town to see what they could find, and maybe, Skelly suggested, he could pick up a pizza. Ollie shook his head and he said, The pizza stinks. His dad dismissed the comment, noting, He doesn't know, he's just a kid. While Muddler and Ollie were gone, Agent Skelly found the mystery man's wallet. It seems he was an oceanographer. If he was studying the plight of Pacific salmon, why was he in the forest? The mystery was becoming more and more mysterious. Mudler returned with Ollie and the pizza, which, as Ollie had indicated, stopped. The kid knew his pizza, even if he was only a kid. Then Mudler reeled off his theory. The oceanographer had somehow tied the depletion of the Pacific salmon stock to forest fires. He possibly suspected, Mudler suggested, that the salmon were being transported to the forest by aliens in order to develop a salmon hybrid. A half-salmon, half-grizzly bear. The aliens would end up with a bear who would never go hungry because he could eat himself. Ollie listened with great interest. As most ten-year-olds, he was fascinated with science fiction. Still, when Mudler or Skelly would express one of their theories, Ollie would shake his head. No. Skelly had a scientific explanation. Perhaps there was an underground river right under the forest, and the oceanographer got caught in it while researching his salmon. Then the forest fire caused the river to boil, shooting a jet stream and the diver up into the charred trees. This theory was punctuated by another head shake from Ollie. Mudler and Skelly had reached a dead end. Neither agent could come up with another theory. As they stared into space despondently, their eyes fell on Ollie. Why not ask Ollie? The kid knew stuff. He was right about the pizza. Ollie said he was impressed by their theories, but what actually happened was, the water all around them came from one of those planes that picks up water from the ocean and dumps it on forest fires. This time, it picked up the diver, who was in the ocean, and dumped him on the fire along with the water. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, Special Agent Wolf Mudler and his partner Dina Skelly, who returned to headquarters to place the case in their Y files. As in, why didn't I think of that? Or did you?